All righty, Christy, how are you going? I'm going well. Thanks, Brett, for having me here. Most welcome. I'm truly, truly grateful. Um, I was doing a post on Facebook today about how people come into your lives, um, you know, at random occasions and things like that, and for a purpose. And I must say that you've definitely come into my life for a purpose because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be sitting here right now because you were my coach through my trial. So I am so, so grateful for, for that and, and everything that you've done. Um, but we'll get into that a little bit more. Um, enough about me. What about yourself? Like, what's your background? Yeah, so I used to be a teacher and I went on leave to have my daughter, Annabelle. And while I was on leave, I decided I didn't want to put her into full-time childcare but it meant I had to find something that I could do at home. So um, I've spent like some time looking around for things and I came across an online business. And in my first 12 months, I actually ended up doing um, over 250,000 in sales. So it was a lot more than I earned as a teacher. But the big thing for me is I had no prior experience. So I had no prior experience in like marketing or sales or business or anything like that. But I was someone that like, if you told me what to do, I'll go into it straight away. Um, so I, I'm very coachable. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I kind of got results really quickly. Mm, and that's super, super um, impressive with the results. And I think, I think, I think that's a big key. Like a lot of people come into these businesses and um, online opportunities and, and think that they need to have some sort of an experience and background. And, you know, you portray it very, very elegantly there that, you know, you've come from that teaching background and with no prior marketing or online business experience and yet hit the ground running and, and absolutely smashed out of the park, which is, I think is absolutely fantastic. That's the thing. Like I started back in 2008 and I was really not even very techy at all. Like back in 2008, like, I didn't even use the internet. The only thing I could really do was send an email. Um, so that, that's pretty much all I could do. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like I have a visitor. <laughs> uh, I guess that's the joy of this business to be able to work around your family and everything like that as well. And be able to spend the extra time with the kids. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Like my kids have never seen a day of childcare and that's how I wanted to do it. Like, when I grew up, my parents were, well, my mum in particular, was always there. So every sporting event, um, she was able to take me to. Um, all the, anything that happened during school times, um, I, she was always there for me. And I, I had that realisation where, because my plan was to put kids in childcare. Like I was just taking a year off and then I was going um, to put them into full-time childcare. But then I had that realisation that when there's an assembly or something on at school, I wouldn't be able to go because I'd be teaching other people's kids. And I was like, well, what, what's kind of going on there? Like here I am um, teaching other people's kids and other people are looking after my, eye, my own. It, it really didn't make sense. And it, like in that first 12 months, like seeing my daughter's first um, crawling, her, her first words, being able to be there for every single moment for me, like it was just like, it's something that I'm truly grateful for. And, like they're quite old, like my kids are older now, I'm both in school, but even the other day there was an assembly on and they both got awards at the assembly. And as a teacher, I wouldn't have been able to go and see them go on stage and get those awards. But as like a, a business owner, I just kind of scheduled in. And you know what? I knew I had to go to assembly. So I just blocked out at that time and was able to be there and um, see both of them get the awards. So it's really good. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I think that's that's that is a massive thing and a massive power of the online business world and all of that. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, what do we got here? So, let's get into the coaching side of things. I'm really, really intrigued, and um, as I said, so with the interviews, what I want to do is is really give value to the audience and. I know there are a lot of people watching, a lot of people that are curious about what this online business is and, and everything along those lines. And I keep talking about these coaches. And at the event actually last, uh, oh, what was two weeks ago now in Vegas, when all of the coaches, all the top 12 coaches were up on stage and myself included. And <laughs> oh, the joys of living in Australia. <laughs> Is that one a pet or is that a just a 
a wild one that's wandering around. <laughs> no, it's the pet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as lives with the kids with their dad. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I think though we should probably prephrase it for the for the Americans that might be watching this. That is not normal. <laughs> yeah. A little bit like this with a blue tongue isn't normal. <laughs> <laughs> Especially as a pet. That's all good. I'll I'll start getting a little bit nervous if I see some kangaroos jumping around as well. Jumping around, that would be total. Or koalas starting to fall up the tree. <laughs> yeah. Then it'll be absolutely perfect Australian. <laughs> so, at, yeah, about the coaching side of things. So, um, so obviously, with this business, one of the biggest things that attracted me to it was the fact that, well, I guess any business in general, you're always going to succeed together if you've actually got a coach. And one of the things that attracted me to, to this, as I was just saying then, was the fact that you've got different levels of coaches. So you've got the, what is it, the welcome coach, you've got the, or the startup coach, scale up, and a, a traffic coach. So at each level, you're being guided by somebody who knows what they're talking about. And as you said, you've got a wealth of experience when it comes to online business and similar opportunities to, to this one. Um, so yeah, uh, just elaborate a little bit more, I guess, around what the coach does. Yeah, so one of the things that are really different about this system is when you get started, you actually get to work one-on-one -on -one with someone that is successful themselves. So not someone that's brand new. Like if you look at like the network marketing model, the person that's coaching you normally is the person that referred you into network marketing, where this system is totally different because you're actually working with someone that's already successful. So most of us have already done six figures, seven figures online. Um, and so you get to work one-on-one -on -one with us every single day. So it means that when you're getting started, we've gone through the struggles and all the queries and the questions that are entering your mind when you're starting, and we've come over the other side of it. So it just gives you that insight into being able to, you know what, I might be feeling this right now. Let, let's chat to my coach about it and see what they did to get over it. And then it helps you um, get over it quicker as well. And one of the things that um, really makes the difference also um, with this sort of system, um, when I first started in this industry, um, with the company that I was connected with, the people had to do their own sales. Now, I was pretty fortunate where um, I had really good mentoring when I first started and for some reason I just kind of winged sales. I don't know, I was able to do it right from the get-go. But I couldn't say that the people that I introduced were the same as me. They couldn't duplicate my results because they weren't that natural in, um, in that background. So one of the really big benefits of this system is that you're not only working with a coach, but once you get started, you don't have to do any of the sales or the telling or explaining of the business for you. You actually have people that have been in this industry doing it a long time and have been trained by one of the top trainers here in sales in, in the in not just this industry in the world um, that is kind of hitting the coaches here and so you have that benefit of having one of those um, sales people make those sales for you so it doesn't matter if you're good at sales it doesn't matter if you're um, good at even communicating with people or coaching people you're going to have all of that area taken care of for you yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, waking up the other day, to a, uh, it was a, a 500 US commission coming through and knowing that I actually hadn't, hadn't done anything. Um, it was just, a, just evidence as to how powerful this business truly is. Um, and I, I think also one area just to elaborate, because I've ex expressed some things with some people in around the, I guess the sales process. By no means is it any sort of hard sales or anything like that. It's really just presenting the information then allowing that person to make a decision whether they want to pursue for it or they don't. And it's uh, very much about respecting that, that decision for, for everybody and themselves. So. That's it. Like, um, as 
the, like our top, um, our coach here, who's kind of mentored all the salespeople, he's an expert in natural sales. And for us as a salesperson, our goal is actually to kind of really listen to what you're looking for, your desires, your needs, and finding out exactly what you want. And then from there, we're able to um, kind of come up with a plan that's going to work best for you. Like everybody's different. Sometimes this might not be right for them, but we're able to kind of um, do that and coming from true, true, genuine, it's not about like making the sale, like in a car sales person, like it's kind of like, oh my God, like you, you walk in and it's kind of, um, you're feeling that pressure straight away. We come from a total different um, background where we, it's total respect. It's more about listening and asking questions and finding out what the person wants and then matching what they're looking for to something. And that, that's how we um, do sales here uh, with this system. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's quite an elegant way. And, um, and it's uh, the, the, the process of the education as well, as far as the steps and things, it's, it's, um, it was something that as soon as I started to see it as we're going through it, I, I yeah, the power of it all is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, it's it's just you saying that, like one of the things that I often get um, told is like there's people that have been trying to do maybe network marketing or even online businesses for like years and have had no success and they pay just for a trial here and just in the first six steps they'll come and tell me like you know what I've actually earned more in this trial in this first six steps than I have for all those years I was trying to build the business on my own so that's what we're all about it's really providing ultimate value um, for people to really kind of understand how you actually do set up an online business the right way to actually get results. Like not one that's going to have you out there doing like hotel meetings, cold calling, hassling friends and family, like how to do it in terms of also lifestyle. Like when I first started um, here in Australia, I actually was one of the top representatives in the company that I got started with. I was one of the head coaches and I was on the leadership team and I was pretty much training with another guy all over um, Australia. But what I actually ended up, he's actually a coach here with this system as well, <laughs> but um, what it actually ended up being was like a, a full-time job in itself because yeah. I was spending so much time training training and educating and doing all the sales for everyone that I actually had no life myself. Now, what is fabulous about this system and for you guys is that you get to leverage this system and really have that ultimate lifestyle where all the coaching's done for you. You don't have to do any of that. All the sales are done for you. You don't have to do any of that side. So it means that you can just focus on the marketing, which is getting people to the websites, which we teach you exactly how to do. And then the rest of the time you can enjoy your lifestyle. So that's what I really, really love about this system. Yeah, and, and I've personally been involved with network marketing and also another opportunity similar to this, but like what you're saying, where you still needed to call all the, all the leads yourself and show the presentations and that side of things. And um, in, in everything that you're saying, I could, I'm, I'm listening and I can completely relate with trying to train somebody on how to use the products in network marketing when I'm only a week earlier than what they are. And it's <laughs> so many different things. It's like, which, which piece of information do I grab? Like what, whereas obviously with this, it's a structured system, which is so simple and um, complete in itself. And I don't have to try and pretend like I know what I'm doing because I don't have that experience. Whereas yourself do. Um, and also with the, the other one before this with I looked at it though as like I got into online businesses and marketing and that side of things because I want that lifestyle. I want that traveling. I want to be able to have freedom, do whatever I choose, whatever I want. And it was starting to get to the point where, okay, it's all good me being in Australia and knowing that I have to call leads in like maybe Canada or um, Ireland or something like that, because I know those time slots are you know, morning and afternoon for me here. But what if I go travel or when I'm traveling around the U S or Europe, all of a sudden there's a possibility that I'm going to have to get up in midnight to call my leads. And I started to see that business as not being a true lifestyle business. Like I'm desiring and wanting. So as soon as I saw this got involved in my trial, 
and started to see how the, the system works with the coaches. And as you said, like I can just do the marketing in the time frame that works for me. I don't have to worry about the, the um, dealing with the leads or, or calling them because obviously whilst you're in Australia, there's other coaches all around the, around the globe that are um, assigned with, within those time regions. So I think this is a win-win. That's it. And one of the things that um, like he kind of picked up on is a lot of people that maybe have done network marketing or um, been in, in those sort of um, businesses before, they're really restricted to their local environment. So it really is re re reliant on where they're living. So it's really even hard for them to travel. And like you said, in terms of traveling, like this is the, a, a lifestyle business where as long as you've got your internet and um, computer, you can be anywhere and still be making money. Like, I've traveled to so many places over the last, so I've been online now for eight years and I've traveled to so many places. My, my passport is um, getting full. But the thing is, is I hadn't started traveling until I started this business. Yeah. Even my kids, like I'm um, here in Australia, a big thing when you're growing up is like, I want to go to Disneyland. Like it, it, it's a huge thing, like being able to go to Disneyland. Well, my kids are, are still quite young um, and they've been to Disneyland twice where a lot of people haven't had that opportunity at all um so and they have more stamps in their passports than most adults do but it's just one of those things where it can be a total lifestyle change for you where like if i was to ask you right now um where you're living right now is that where you would live if you weren't restricted to job or restricted in that location like where would you want to live and that's the thing, like, I have friends that are um, just traveling around the world. Some are in Bali. I have a friend in Mexico who just, they kind of just spend 12 months in one area. For myself, um, like, I do have kids, so they go to school. So I'm kind of need to be restricted into um, a location where there's kind of a good schooling. But, it, like, obviously, you can see, like, I choose to live here um, opposed to um, being where I used to be a teacher at, where I had to be within driving distance from the school to get to. So when, when you have that choice of um, like, where do you want to live and why you want to live there, then that's a pretty cool opportunity in itself. Yeah, absolutely. And also the fact that where you live is also your office. And I know you're, you're in your office right there, right now. And you know, that in itself is, is a massive thing. And, and just um, the quality of happiness that comes from being able to be in those sort of spaces and not have to deal with the everyday stresses of, you know, maybe racing to a job or, um being in an environment that you don't want to be in uh yeah the just everything becomes so much more happy and um and just the stress inside it so i completely know what you mean and to answer that question no where i am right now is not where i will be living um there's a few of us already talking about moving overseas uh in the next uh, six months 12 months that side of things so you know it's yeah and that's it. And like for myself, like I used to be a teacher in Sydney and it took me 40 minutes being in peak hour traffic to get to school every single day. And like now when I, uh, the odd time when I happen to be driving and I am in peak hour traffic, I kind of sit there and go, oh my God, how did I do this every single day? How did I just, and it's like peak hour to the point of you're not moving. Like it was a, what the distance between where I lived and my school weren't that far away, but it's just that there was so many cars on the road, you're just not moving. Um, but how did I actually put up with doing that every single day? Like uh, that's just so stressful in itself. Like it, uh, yeah, I'm just so glad I don't have to do pick hour anymore. <laughs> Absolutely, and I think in there because it's it's what society deems as normal, and you know the the online space as we, as with conversations were being made in Vegas is still. Whilst it's been around for a while, it's still relatively new and relatively unknown to the majority. And misunderstood, I think, is a key one in that as well. Um, so I guess it's when you don't know something, then you, you get, you're not settled, but in a way, you you accept the situation that you've got because you don't know that there's another way or a better way. But see, that's the thing. Like, when I started online, I didn't even know people could work at home and make money. <laughs> Like when I came across this industry, I was so naive. I knew nothing at all, which 
maybe one of the reasons also that I actually did results because I had no preconceived conditions on I just knew people that were getting results and I went well if they can do results then there's no reason if I do exactly what they're doing and um, do the same that I wouldn't um, get the same results so I expected it and it's also it comes to, to that point also where I often get asked as a coach um, about saturation like is, is this something that obviously like if all of these people are getting on board and I can see all these people making money, then how can someone brand new get started and um, get going? And I love to answer this where one of my um, friends that are also in this industry, uh, he kind of tends to do um, more traditional marketing methods. And one method that um, he does is he still does newspaper advertising. Okay. And um, he's, that's what something that he teaches his team as well. And in the, the newspaper, there were two ads placed. Now, what we teach is about attraction marketing. So to write an ad that is going to attract someone exactly like you, Brett. So um, you wouldn't obviously be talking, your ad wouldn't be maybe directed to stay-at-home mums, for example, if you're not a stay-at-home mum. Your ad would be more directed into uh, maybe someone who like wants to travel, the self-help things on the spiritual side, health, fitness, and that sort of side. So you, your ad would be targeting that sort of person. And now, for example, back to my example, in this newspaper, now, my friend, they've done millions of dollars online. Um, they, their biggest month online has been 250000 in a month. So they're big income earners. Now, he had an ad in there. Now, he also had a brand new member that had only just started like a month earlier. Mm. And this brand new person had written an ad in the exact same newspaper. And the person ended up signing up under the brand new person's ad. And the reason is because their ad was relating to the person that was having that view, um, it really directed and they could relate to that and they um, then connected with their message so then they signed up through that. But little did they know that in that exact same newspaper there was another ad and when asked about it later, they're like, oh, I didn't see any other ads. But there was another ad with someone that had done $250,000 in a month. And that's the reason why saturation doesn't exist because when you're marketing to people that have the same interests as you and you're writing that message and you're not just targeting every single person that's looking at starting an online business, then saturation doesn't exist. So yeah, saturation is something that you never have to worry about. And think about it, like how many people right now are not happy in their job? They wanna have more income, they wanna be able to travel, they wanna spend more time with family. There's, every single day there's people that are feeling that and feeling that need so saturation isn't something that you have to worry about ever <laughs> no absolutely and the other thing that i do like about this and it was a bit of going back to a small reference with the network marketing side where you know the ability with this to be able to leverage the internet and and really market to um pretty much everyone or anywhere um as opposed to just the, the rounds and that side of things. so it's um Definitely something that's opened my mind to it all, and you know what? Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll have a look at some newspaper ads. <laughs> <laughs> well, they do. I'm cool that one. I, like to, I like new school because it's more online, and um, they are an old generation as well, so it kind of suits their generation. So that's probably why they relate to it. Personally, I'm not someone that reads newspapers, so <laughs> I couldn't tell you the last time I picked up a newspaper and actually read it. So it's not really my target market. So that's something you always need to think about. And it's what I actually teach something um, with my clients is to, when you're looking at yourself, think about what books are you reading? What magazines are you reading? What websites are you going to? Really start taking notice of all of those and start writing them down because you then want to get your message in front of the people exactly like you. So if you're reading that, then you need to think about how can I get my ad to pop up onto, for example, I also like property investing. So let's just say I had, um, and I read property investing magazines. Yep. So, but that now it's kind of expensive to advertise in property magazines and that. So you probably don't want to go there. But property magazines, they all have like Facebook groups and they have, they're on Facebook. So what I could do is put a Facebook ad 
where I, um, it can just pop up when someone, and I can choose that their interest is that magazine. And that's how I can get my message in front of the, the people that are also reading that magazine. So just really pay attention to the things you're reading, um, the, the things that you're spending time doing on a daily basis and think about how can I get my message in front of that person but doing it on a, like a cheaper version, like not like um, old school marketing where putting it and adding the magazine and all, all of those ways. Think of using the online world to be able to tap into those resources. Yeah, absolutely. That's fantastic. And I just want to sort of like uh, step aside a second and just sort of speak to the people that are watching this and and as we were talking about that, we've been talking about the coaches and um, yourself obviously being a coach, um, but just everything that you're sharing then was, you know, just a small snippet of the wealth of knowledge that I know you have in your mind. And along with the other coaches, as I said, that the top 12, but there's, a, oh, there's about 200 coaches in, in growing at this point, because the company itself is growing so quickly, um, yeah. you know, to be able to, oh, it definitely comes back to being able to leverage your own as, as a, a somebody coming into this new and uneducated about the marketing space and the online space, business even, uh, you know, and I can see that you were just getting started and you were just starting to really step into your groove with what you were sharing there. So, uh, yeah, it's just a small... Like, of what people the, often hear, like, me talking now and... Um, knowledge that I do know now because I have been around the industry for a long time but you have to remember when I first started I knew nothing yeah. like I said all I to do was send an email like even now like people will laugh at me because I'm really not that techie at all <laughs> like I'm always like oh I don't know how to do these I always get help doing all the techie stuff because I, I'm really not in that that way at all all I know is that if someone tells me to do something then I will go and do it and when I first got started, um, one of the biggest advice that I was given was, it was this example of um, when you're getting started, you can be a perfectionist and want to get everything right before you get going and know how everything works before you get going. Or there's the other one, which is like, you, um, they gave an example of like a skeleton where you just need to know the basics, like the bones of it. Um, and you don't have to know everything behind it and you just get a little bit out there but the fact that every single day you're getting a little bit out there then you eventually you'll have a, enough um knowledge and results there that you, you start getting momentum and start getting results where the ones that are staying around and wanting to know everything before they get out there like i have to um compliment you Brett, because um you're really getting out there and doing these interviews and um putting yourself out there which is showing that you're really getting um, going that skeleton model where you don't know everything yet. You're yeah. still learning it yourself, but because you're just kind of um, getting out there and having a go and every single day working on those income producing activities, you'll get results. But those that are just sitting back and wanting to know everything and have everything perfect before they get going, they're the ones that really struggle. Yeah, absolutely. And, and in there, I was also hearing what you weren't quite saying was that um, you know, the system itself works and the system produces results and there's never any issue with that. It's more the, the work ethic and the people and, and just being able to understand for yourself. Um, I, I'm very much the same. Like I used to be, you know, it's got to be like this. It's got to be perfect and then I can take action. I'm waiting for the, the perfect day. You know, it's a little bit windy outside today. Maybe I shouldn't. But it, yeah, and, you know, and I did. I really started to in the last probably six months to a year, except that good enough is good enough. And yeah. when you can really grasp that, um, you know, sure, look, you might make a fool of yourself along the way in some scenarios, but, you know, as you said, you just keep picking yourself up and moving forward and, and eventually it will all, all fall in place. That's it. And like when I first started, one of the marketing strategies that I used was I did video marketing. And I often look back now to the first videos that I ever did and I go, oh my God, did I actually put them up there for everyone to believe? But do you know how much money I made from those first ones? Because I was vulnerable. Yeah. I, people could tell I was kind of new and I was out there and having a go and that actually really connected with people. Like I couldn't actually go and do that again now because I'm not in that same spot. <laughs> and yeah. I, I do still look at them and go, I can't believe I actually had them out there. 
But every single day, no matter what, I was doing a video every day. Or for me, I tend to, because I'm a girl, I have to do my hair and makeup. Yeah. I would kind of do them all in one setting. Yep. <laughs> so once a week, I'd do seven. Yep. <laughs> so then I would be uploading them every single day. Yep. Um, but just knowing that just getting them out there and you don't have to be perfect. You don't know, have to know exactly everything. It's more about just sharing your experiences. Mm. sharing what you've learned because what you've gone through already a lot of people are probably just still um, a bit further back than you and aren't even there yet so if you can share anything that you've learned whether it's a book that you've read and you something profound you've gone to an event and there was profound things that you took away from it or even in your online business like if you think back to the eight main um things that you struggled with before when you came into the online world or into a business working by yourself, I just did a video series of the eight things that I struggled with first. And they're actually one of the video series that, that I actually get commented on the most because people could relate to it because they were having the same struggles. So if you can kind of share what you struggled with and what you did to overcome with it, then it, it just, it's just really is a way to be able to connect with people more as well. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um... And I'm taking some notes. <laughs> so, um, well, look, I know that you and I could talk for hours and hours and hours, but, you know, uh, we'll, we'll start to wrap it up. So in closing, like, what's one last thing that you can, you'd want to share? Okay, so the, the biggest advice that I, I can give to anyone is to trust the system. Um, systems work. People are what don't make it work. Um, so if trust the system and do income producing activities every single day, no matter what, that's the biggest reason why I got results really quickly um, is like, cause my results were in my second month, I replaced my teacher's income. And in my third month on, I started earning over 10,000 a month. But the reason I got there is every single day, even when I wasn't getting results, I was focusing on my income producing activities. And I would always do that before I did all my busy work. So checking emails and all of the paperwork or learning or that sort of side. No matter what, the first thing I did every single day was income producing activities. And if you do that over a 90 day period, you'll be reaching your goals as well. So that's my biggest advice. That's the takeaway. Awesome. I absolutely love that. And, I, and the other thing that I love in there is that I know we've got Hawaii coming up end of February. Yes. And, you know, I, I am so excited about that event, um, what we're going to learn there and everything along those lines. And, you know, because Vegas was just a small snip, snippet. I know Hawaii, they're going to turn it up a lot more and, and we're going to learn a lot more. And I know that's about 90 days away. So, you know, uh -huh. I've got my eye on that. I've got my eye on it. And, yeah, so, no, look, I just... Truly want to thank you again for your time, um, your words, um, just everything there. I know you've got a lot of knowledge and wisdom and everything in, in this space that you've gathered over the last couple of years. And to be able to share that with some of the people that are watching um, that might be a little bit curious about what this online world is, starting to maybe consider putting one toe in and, and all of that. Um, to them, I want to invite them to... Um, jump on the link that I'll put on the next page, but I also, um, because I've been uploading these to SoundCloud and everything like that as well, um, lifewithoptions.net, that was lifewithoptions.net, um, and I'll put the link in the description, everything like that as well. So, all right, Christy, I'm gonna leave you to attend to the little one. Hopefully the lizard is still wandering around. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, definitely reach out to Brett. He'll take good care of you and I'll see you in our community. Absolutely. And who knows, you might even be that coach. Okay, I might be your coach as well. <laughs> okay. okay, see you later. All right, see you, Christy. Bye. Bye.